Hello and welcome to the third video in the module where we are talking about corporate level strategy. Now, we have previously discussed the four strategic options that we have if we would like to diversify our business. Now, in this video, I would like to talk about diversification drivers so that why do companies want to diversify? It's not only about uh, entering new markets and earning extra revenues. No, these are arguments that will not stand in the eyes of shareholders. There usually are deeper reasons for it, which are not always positive. So let's at first discuss what are the diversification drivers? Why would we like to diversify? First of all, this is the most common one maybe, we have economies of scope. These are not economies of scale, economies of scope are a different term. Economies of scope are about having a strategic capability that is truly great. Maybe a top level management, we have great top level managers and we would like to utilize this strategic capability more, so we take it bring it to the new business, to some unrelated business and make use of it there. What should be an example? Well, maybe an example would be universities. You see universities offering education as their product or a service and what they have is these big halls, a uh, lot of facilities that can be used and utilized for a new purpose. Well, what they do is that they will organize events in there. So you see they utilize some of their strategic capabilities to make use of economies of scope. Uh, that is one example. Secondly, we could be stretching corporate management competencies. And I already touched upon this. If we have corporate level management, now really think about managers that are in charge of corporate, which has 10,000 employees. These usually are pretty skilled people and they also are pretty expensive. Now you can make a use of them in a way that you deploy them to a completely new and unrelated business. So if your company is producing champagne, what you can do is that you take them and bring them to a perfume industry. And all of a sudden you will be producing also perfumes. Now, these were two maybe positive ones as the reasons for diversification. There is also the, the strive for a more profit and more revenues. That is clearly uh, the aim for diversification. Now, these were two positive ones, but there are also some negative ones that I have to mention. Now, first of all, we have responding to market decline, spreading risk across and managerial ambition. Well, what is it about responding to market decline? If our market is on general decline, maybe we are producing CD players and all of a sudden MP3 players come and we can see that consumers enjoy MP3 players more. We can still sell some CD players, but we would be insane if we thought that we can keep selling CDs forever. We should diversify to this new market. Now, secondly, we can be spreading risk across which means that essentially in more businesses that we are in, the less risky it should be for us. If one market fails, if there is a competitor that comes to one of the markets, then we still are in other markets, so we have spread it the risk. Now, last point, managerial ambition. And sometimes it happens that the top level management or the corporate level management is very ambitious and they would like to kind of prove themselves and so they will push forward and say, hey, let's go to new businesses. I want to prove myself there. This is not a positive way or a positive diversification driver. And we should be careful about this. So we have briefly outlined five options which are uh, outside of the strive for revenue and profit, some extra diversification drivers. Now, we need to take a look at what will happen with our efficiency if we would like to diversify ourselves. And for that, I have one nice drawing. This is a picture that will tell us how effective in terms of production, performance, of profitability we are going to be when we diversify. So on the vertical axis, we have performance depicted, which ranges from low to high. On the horizontal axis, we have three different kinds of diversification undiversified, related limited diversification, and unrelated extensive diversification. Let's see each of these three scenarios. If we stay undiversified, our performance will be low. That is reasonable. It will be very hard for us to exploit the market further. 
However, if we perform related limited diversification, maybe us as car producers, we will start to produce trucks or buses as well. We are going to have a very high performance. The reason is that this is similar business to ours and we can use our core competencies. Finally, if we perform unrelated extensive diversification, our performance is going to be low again. This is because it will be a domain very different to our current domain. So for instance, from making cars, we would move to a business of refrigerators. We will have hardly any ideas how to produce those and that is why our performance is going to suffer. So, as you can see, you really have to think about the efficiency if you are going to diversify yourself. It's not always easy and effective to diversify. Of course, as you have seen, you are going to suffer from low efficiency if you just stay within your own market. But also, low, low efficiency is going to occur if you go to unrelated diversification way. But Unrelated diversification is going to bring, on the other hand, a lot of benefits. You are going to spread the risk of your portfolio among unrelated industries. So it's going to be quite safe for you. Maybe this unrelated diversification is going to yield the most profits for you. So even though the unrelated diversification is going to suffer from low efficiency, it might be the most beneficial one. But on the other hand, the fact that we are going to be very efficient if we perform related diversification is nowadays very attractive for a lot of companies. So that was about diversification drivers. Why should we diversify as a company? Why should we diversify our portfolio? And then if we do so, how efficient are we going to be? I'm looking forward to see you in the next videos.